Hi kids, my name's Nicole and this is Let's Make Art and you're here to paint with us and we are continuing with our seasons projects and today we're doing oh, spring. And I love spring. I love spring too. I love spring. Actually, I love, I feel like I love all the months. But well, yes. Spring is a good one because it comes after fall, which means it's been kind of, oh no, winter. Mm. It goes fall, winter, spring, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. summer. Keeping you on your toes. So it was really, really cold and now the sun is out and we're gonna play outside. So we're gonna be doing that together today. Now, the supplies that we're using are you have your paper. I want you to grab a bowl, so a bowl or a plate, something circular because we're gonna use that to trace our circle. And then your brushes, the colors that we're using today are I have my brush, got to dip it in water. So the three colors, this one is called fuchsia, but if you have a red or a magenta, that will also work. And then I want you to have a yellow and a blue. So we like to mix colors and we like to start with the three. These are like the three primary colors. Then the other fun tool is I want you to grab a toothbrush. Now this can be any toothbrush, definitely one you will not use after on your teeth. So grab maybe an old one and we're going to use that to add the leaves onto our tree. Now, before we get started, I want to introduce Keenan, uh, who is our cameraman. He got really excited because he loves saying hi. <laughs> Hello. I did put stuff in my hair today, <laughs> but it's just not very... <laughs> you can tell him he looks good. <laughs> you did your hair today. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to do our motto. So if you can raise your right hand and repeat after me. I am brave. I am brave. I am kind. I am kind. And I am creative. And I am creative. <laughs> Let's do this. Ah. Boom. Okay. So the first step is, is I want you to grab your circular object and I'm going to flip this upside down and I'm going to grab a pencil. And when I'm doing this, do you see how on our finished one, it's kind of in the center? So kind of center it on your paper and then you're going to trace around magic. Now you have Whoa. a circle. Okay, the next step is, is we're going to do, we're going to draw together. So this is going to be a very fun one to, to do. So the first step is, is let's draw our ground. So our ground is a horizontal line. So towards the bottom part of your circle, I want you to draw a horizontal line. Now, if it's not straight, that is great. I actually don't want it to be straight. Now, the next step is, oh, okay is we're going to draw our tree. So if you've done any of our other seasons projects, you'll notice that they all have a tree in the center. So what I want you to do is you're going to draw on the left side. Let's start with the left side. And you're going to draw, let's see. I'm trying to think what will help. I'm gonna draw it in the center of this circle to the left a little bit and I'm gonna draw a straight line down and then I'm gonna curve to the left at the bottom because that's the tree trunk at the very bottom because the roots are going into my ground. Now on the other side, I'm going to draw the right side of my tree, but you get to decide how big this tree is. Is it a really wide tree? Is it a really skinny one? Maybe I'll draw a skinnier one this time. Is there two of them? Oh, okay. You want to try that? No. No. Not today. Okay. If you want to draw two, two trees, you can. Okay, so then, so you have your tree trunk. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna draw the branches. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go from the center and you're gonna draw branches or lines going out. Now, some of them may be really big, some of them may be small. Some of them mm -hmm. might come off of your big ones. Oh, and what I know is I want to have one really big long one because on my drawing, I'm going to have a tree house. Oh, now, nice. You can plan ahead. Yes. So if yours doesn't have a tree house, that's okay. But I'm going to draw one and I'm going to draw a really, really big one because my tree house is going to go right there. Okay. Let's add another. Oh, no. That's where my tree house is going to go. 
so I don't need that one. Okay, so you'll see this is just the base of my tree. Now what you're going to do is this is the time that you get to make this your own. So during spring, what do you think about? So the months of spring, it starts with March actually. What? Yeah, so it's March, April, and May. So I think of April showers bring May flowers. Yes. So maybe there's some flowers in, okay. your, in your drawing like I have here. Let's see, maybe we'll do an overhead shot. So I also think of, I can hear kind of birds chirping in my ear. Mm. So maybe it's some insects, maybe it's butterflies or ladybugs. Bird eggs. Oh, a nest? Yeah, a nest. Oh, maybe draw a nest in your tree? Yes. That's a good idea. Or you could put a hole in your tree and make it like squirrels live there. <gasps> That's a cool idea too. Ooh, I wanna do that. Like have a little, down here you're thinking? Where, yeah, where I was thinking a little higher. Okay, right here? Yeah. Okay. Nice. Like that? Yeah. Okay, for squirrels to eat in. That's nice. a good idea. Okay, and then, let's see. So, let's draw, I'm gonna draw some butterflies. So we actually did a butterfly project. We could link that here. So you can draw some butterflies with us. So these are just very simple shapes. I'm gonna draw it like that. So there's a butterfly. What's another, another, I wanna do a ladybug. Ooh yeah, do a ladybug. But they're, they're really small, but maybe I'll do one. Could you do apples? <gasps> okay. How do I draw a ladybug? I'll make it black or red and then add black spots. Nice. Maybe I'll draw a couple of them. Might not be able to tell what that is. Okay, then I'm going to draw a tree house. So if you wanna draw a tree house with me, here's how we do it. Is we are going to take, so anything that we draw, we take it into really simple lines and shapes. So I'm gonna start off with a rectangle on top of my tree or my branch. Let's see. All tree houses look very different, but this is what my brain and imagination saw. Is I saw a, like a ledge. So that's a really skinny rectangle. And then, let's see, this down here, oh, I'll do that after, I'm gonna keep going. So this is open, so I'm just drawing two lines right here. And then my brain saw a roof on top. Ah. And then, so I saw as if the wood planks were going this way on the top of my house. Wow. And on, on here, I saw them going this way. But yours may be different. That's just what my brain saw. That's nice. Works? Works well. Okay. Then my imagination, you have to get into the tree house unless you climb up the tree. But let's draw a ladder. So to do that, I'm gonna draw kind of a curve and wavy line. And then I'm gonna match that on the other side. Mm, very you gotta, nice. Gotta get up somehow. So these are the ladder rails. Yep. Yeah? Okay, so you just draw two lines that are close together. Woohoo! Okay, let's see what else. On this one, I drew, I think of baseball because that's when baseball season starts. I'm trying to think other sports you can draw. You can draw a soccer ball? Yes. Okay, I'll draw a soccer ball. Or a soccer goal. A ball Ooh. might be easier. Okay, okay. <laughs> I'll draw a soccer ball. So soccer ball has, so the shapes, let's see. I think it's this, where it's a triangle or the top of a roof and then two lines down and then one more. So there's five. Right, is that right? Yeah, that looks good. Okay, so you can draw that one and then I might just scribble on the other ones. Or just draw other shapes over here. It's a little bit easier. That looks like a soccer ball. Totally. Okay, or you can draw a baseball like we did here. Now, oh my, those are my ladybugs. Okay, so you get to continue if you want to draw other things because this is your world and your painting. So I want you to draw more. But when you are ready, I want you to then grab either crayons or if you have markers, I'm gonna color in my smaller pieces using my crayons. So I'm just gonna grab a few colored crayons and kind of draw and I'm gonna outline some of my smaller parts 
let's see, brown. Um, I also, before we, I wanna show you one other thing, is I didn't draw my flowers, but I drew them here, so I'm gonna draw them right now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kinda scribble <laughs> into a little circle kind of shape. Maybe we can do a side view. And I'm just kind of scribbling. But it's cool because if you do them small and you do a lot of them, they'll look like flowers really far away. You can push your paper up farther and we'll be able to see that section of the paper better. Perfect. I'll do more. Okay. Is that good? Yes, well. Okay. Very, yes, ma'am. Very good. <laughs> So we're gonna do a whole field of flowers. Now, if you don't want flowers, you do not have to do that. I just wanted to show you how you can do that. So again, do you see I'm just scribbling? Wow. Maybe there's some yellow flowers. Ooh, I can just imagine the green grass and all this pop of color. Fun. Okay, so we're going to keep going and I want you to keep outlining all of these things. I'm not going to do my tree because I'll be able to do that together at the end, but I'm going to do all of this and I'll meet you back at the end. Go. Okay, so finished with all of my crayons. Now we are going to start with our watercolors. So grab your brush and I want you to dip in water and we're gonna start with the background. So in spring, I think of a really pretty bright blue sky, but I want you to paint what you see. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dip in water, pick up my paint. And for this one, I wanna show you a cool trick is let's Go around just the edge. So I want you to paint around the outside, or you're inside the, the circle, but you're around the edge. Might need more water. So I'm just painting the edge. Now, here's what we're gonna do, is we're just going to use water. So dip your brush in the water. I want you to be able to see this. And now, I want you to just paint you're gonna to touch the blue, but do you see how we're making a lighter blue? Beautiful sky. Yeah, so as you go towards the tree trunk, you're just gonna use water. Now here's the cool thing, because it's crayon, you can kinda of go over just using water. Mm. Go over it and the color will be there. That's why we like to use crayon. So again, I'm just using water and I'm gonna to touch my blue and maybe you go back and forth a few times and it picks up the color and then you paint. Because if it dries, so I'm gonna dip in water, move across my blue, see how it starts to kind of wake it up again and then you move the color. Early morning, the sky doesn't get a day off. <laughs> nope, telling it to wake up, stretch. Do it again. So what we're doing is any color, so blue plus water equals light blue. Isn't that cool? So let's do it again. Two plus two equals blue. <laughs> In your head? Yes. Okay, I love I, it. I love how your left side of your circle for your sky looks blended differently from your right side. Oh yeah, what do you see? Well, I see that it's almost a softer blending from the dark blue to the light blue, mm -hmm. and then a harder edge on the right side. And is that because oh. the color dried? Yeah, it dried a little bit. But here's the cool thing. If you want it to be even a darker blue, you can go and grab more paint. <gasps> Ooh, Did you see that? Yes, so that's it, so pretty. Right, good call out. So it just blended right into it. So I just added more color to it. That's lovely. Boom, okay. 
So now, once you did that, I want you to take a step back and I want you to look at it. Because can you tell how your circle now looks more rounded? Yes. Because we have darker on the edge and lighter on the middle. Looks so like a globe. Yes. I think it's so fun. Okay, next step is, is let's paint our grass. Now, ooh, I want to add some... Stems? Yeah. So I want it to be a little bit, I want it to pop up. Mm. So add some stems, but we're still gonna do green grass. But I just remember that. So those are my crayons. Now, let's make green. So to make green, you use the two colors, which are yellow and blue. Now blue is really strong. You can see how strong of a color it is. So when we're mixing it, let's see what happens if we just do one drop. I'm gonna make two different greens. So I'm gonna do one drop and one drop here. So there's two different colors I'm gonna make. And then this one, I'm gonna use a lot of yellow. So maybe let's do five drops. One, two, three, four, five. And maybe in this one, let's do two drops. Ooh. Let's see what happens. Okay. So I have my extra paper. So I'm gonna mix this together. So this one was more yellow. Ooh, that's a nice green. That feels very fresh. Ooh, very fresh. That. Now let's see what this looks like. Ooh, I love that green. <laughs> so can you see how they're two different colors? Just really slightly. But this one's more yellow, because it had more yellow. And this one's a little bit darker, because it had more blue. So that's the cool thing about mixing different colors, is you made a light green and kind of a green. So, what we're going to use is we're going to use those two colors to paint our grass. Because grass, when you look at it, it's all different colors, it's not just one. So on this technique, I want you to, or the, on this part, let's see, this may be easier. Let's paint the bottom, just like we did on our circle. And then I want you to just paint lines going up, because our grass, blades of grass go up mm. and down. So maybe you grab some of the darker green and you add that in because it adds some depth, which is really cool. So there's a darker green. So I'm just gonna keep drawing my blades of grass. And do you see how mine kind of went over? Mm -hmm. I did that on purpose because when you look at grass, it's not a straight line, unless you have a very nicely mowed grass. Yeah, unless it's perfect. Put some sand in there, made that ground real soft. Which you might. Put some Kentucky bluegrass in there. Who yeah. Knows? Oh, so is that an, a type it's of a grass? a type of grass, yes, it's a sod. <laughs> so there we draw blades of grass. You see how I'm just moving my arms going like this up and down. Are Sweet. you using the belly of your brush or are you using the tip of your brush? Oh, you can use either. Oh, okay. So I'm not pushing too hard because if I push really hard, it just kind of smushes the brush into it. And do you see how the bristles, this is a good yeah. lesson. Yeah. So I'm just lightly going like this, going up and up. Oh, nice. Thank you. Yeah, good question, Keenan. Okay, clean our brush. Now, the next step is, okay, we're gonna make brown. So let's mix another color. So brown is, let's see. Mm -hmm. I'm going to, I already have some of my fuchsia right here. And because I'm not gonna use it anywhere else, I think I'm just gonna use this one that's right here. So I have fuchsia, and then I want you to add some yellow. So let's do three drops of yellow. Let's see what happens. And then the blue, I just want you to do one drop of blue, because again, blue is really strong. So just do one drop and let's see what happens. So when you mix colors, you're, you never really know what you're gonna get. Ooh. What color is that? Let's see. Ooh. Ooh, so yeah, it's kind of brown, nice. but it has a little bit of yellow. Yeah. Do you like that? I mean, yeah. Here, I want to show you something. So if you ever are like, oh, I want to see, maybe keep that color, because you're like, oh, maybe I want that color. But let's see what happens if let's just mix, if we warm it up a little bit. So fuchsia or magenta is a warm color. So I'm going to mix that. Ooh, I like that color more. Ooh, what's that one? Yeah, 
so it warmed it up a little bit. So do you see how we added a little bit of this color? Yep, that's lovely. Isn't that cool? Okay, so you like that color. Wow. So what we're gonna do is you're gonna use the brown that you like. Yeah, there's all different color woods. I'm gonna paint the tree trunk. Nice squirrel home. Oh yeah, <laughs> it's popping out. And then the branches. So when I'm painting these, you don't have to press very hard because your branches aren't too big. And let's see, I'll use the brown that I have now. I'll just color in my tree house. And this part's open because that's where someone's head would be. Mm. It'd be popping out right there. Whoa, look at this. You guys see that? What? So this was wet. So it exploded into the color, which I love. I'm going to leave it like that. Because I think those things like that that happen are really cool. Yeah, that's a beautiful accident. Yes. Okay. So we're going to leave that. Now, the next step is I want you to grab your toothbrush and we are just going to use the tip. So I'm not gonna dip all of this. I'm just gonna dip in the top part. So maybe bring this down a little bit. So I'm gonna dip in the color. So when you're looking at my toothbrush, there's just green on the front part. And what we're gonna do is we're just going to push and lift and we're gonna make leaves. And you said you can use this with your teeth as well? No. <laughs> I said, use a toothbrush that isn't one that you're gonna brush with after. I had an idea. Yes, tell me your idea. If you wanna get crazy and you have to switch, if you have an electric toothbrush and you need to switch the head of your toothbrush. Oh, anyways? Anyway, use that old toothbrush to see what kind of designs you can make with a powered tool. Oh, snap. You know, that'd be <laughs> kind of fun to see. Yeah. Maybe it sprinkles paint and it makes it look like it's raining. Who knows? Oh, that's fun. Yeah, that's a good idea. <laughs> oh, I have the other color green. So again, do you see how I'm just pushing into, so you can decide how big your tree is. Mm. <laughs> oh, bless you. Excuse me, whoa. Sorry if that was loud. Got some dust bunnies back here. <laughs> so I'm just pushing. Ooh, there's some. So in my tree house, you, there's still, you'll see some trees right here. Oh, even in this open area, you'll see some That's leaves. That's what I was gonna say. If it's open, yeah. you see right through it. Yeah. Fun. Okay, so as you go out, when you look at a tree, it's really, I wanna say dense. I'm trying to think of another word. There's just a lot of leaves in the middle. It's thick. It's thick. And then when you come out, as you go outside, so this way, there may be some, there may be less leaves. So we're gonna have some more space in between. So can you see the difference? Yeah. So basically there's more of the sky that's peeping through. Sweet. Okay. That's beautiful. We did that. We just made that. So let's clean our toothbrush by dipping it in the water. And if you use the power toothbrush, get rid of that toothbrush. <laughs> yes, head. yes. Or save it with your art supplies. Oh, that's a good idea. Wash it with soap, reuse it. Who knows? <laughs> okay. So now what we're going to do is we will do our words, but this is dry. So I'm going to set this aside for now so it can dry. And I want you to grab, if you have our box, grab a paper that looks like this. It says sunny spring. And if you don't, just grab a scratch piece of paper. And I want you to practice writing some words. So do you see how on this final one, I wrote flowers, butterflies, treehouse, picnics, baseball. So some of the things that you drew in here or any of your favorite things that you think of when you think of spring, I want you to, to draw. So I'm just gonna use my crayon and we wrote flowers right here, so I'm gonna trace over that. But this is a time for you to write out all your words that you are thinking of. So maybe you grab, I'm gonna grab different greens. So I also think of picnics, cause it's really nice outside. 
Maybe you think of food again, like Keenan does if you watched our fall one. Mm -hmm. He really likes food. Food is good. We all need to eat. So what I want you to do. Spring snacks. Okay, you want me to write that? Spring mix. I'll do spring. Spring mix is like lettuce. Oh, <laughs> which is green. Spring Planting. mix. Planting. You, oh, gardening. Yeah. Yeah, maybe your family gardens. Planting, gardening. Oh, I think of bunnies now. I love seeing some bunnies run around. Let's see. Use a different color just to have fun. We Hatching. Got flowers. What? Hatching. Oh, nest. Birds nest. Birds. Yeah, birds, birds hatching, maybe chickens, chicks. Oh yeah. Easter time. Yeah. There's so many more things you can draw on this one. Chicks, maybe you draw more on it. Yes, I love that. Okay. So what we're going to do is once you are done with that and your painting is fully dry, Let's see, let's set this right here, is what we're going to do is we're going to make sure that our palette has all the colors we want to use to write out our words. So do you see how looking at this, how it goes from a really light green to green to kind of a pretty blue or turquoise? So this looks so pretty and I wanna teach you how to do it. So I have my colors on a, my palette. It looks like I have yellow. I think this is a yellow green, this is green and this is blue. So what I wanna do is I wanna mix a little bit more. So let's do blue right here. Maybe I need more blue right here. But see, so you're gonna go from yellow. Yellow, so we have these colors. Let me mix this. Ooh, so this is a darker green, so that's like right there. Maybe we'll make one more color right here. So I have my, this really pretty dark green. What if I add more blue? Oh, that is a gorgeous color. So pretty. So these are all of the colors that I'm gonna use to write the word on top. So we have all of our colors ready. Now, for this, I'm gonna use a little bit of a smaller brush. So I have two different brushes. I have a big one and a small one, so I'm gonna use the smaller one. But if you don't have that, use any brush size that you have. So I'm gonna dip in water. And I think I'm gonna start with yellow. I didn't do yellow here, but let's see if it'll show up. So I'm gonna start with yellow. And on the left side of here, I'm gonna write my, my word. I'm writing, I love spring, but maybe you write springtime, or maybe you write your favorite thing about spring. You get to decide. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna write one word letter, and maybe I'll write L, and then I'm gonna dip into the next color Ooh. Oh, and we're gonna start, maybe do two colors. And I think I might go over this and see what happens. Oh, nice. look at that. That was just fun. I just wanted to try and see what happens. You could make this for someone else and write happy spring, exclamation point. Oh, I like that. It's a good idea. I love spring. Yes, spring. Pringles. <laughs> so do you see how you just do a few colors in each, or a few letters, a few letters in each color, pick up the blue, and then you move along. Get some blue, ooh, that's Lovely. So Exclamation point. Yes. I love spring clean your brush. Now, at the very bottom, because these words are small, I'm gonna write it with my crayon, but if you want, you can also write it with your brush. Okay, we're done. 
you did it. So you can see how there's so many more things you can draw. Maybe you draw another one. Keenan had the idea to maybe you make it for someone else and you give it to them. Maybe you write their name on top or maybe you draw something. Maybe you've been on a vacation and you, and it was during, it doesn't have to be during spring. It can be any of the seasons, but you draw what you did or what you saw on vacation. That's a great idea. That cool idea. Who's, whose idea was that? It just came to my head. That's a great idea. And I wanted idea. to share it with you. <laughs> so. Thank you for painting with me. I always love this. And what I want you to do is I want you to hold it up and I want you to smile and take a picture and show it to us. We have a Facebook group called Let's Make Art Kids Projects. Ask a grown up to help you. We have an Instagram called Let's Go Make Art. We love to cheer you on. This was so much fun. If you liked this, we have all the other seasons. So we have spring, what comes after spring? Summer. I think my summer is one I was painting on. Yep, summer, spring, summer fall winter <laughs> so you can paint all four seasons with us and we'll add a link here so always remember that you are brave kind and so creative and i loved painting with you and we'll see you next time bye